that's for all the... Come on. There we are. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. This was uh, a bit of a bust as far as moon landings go. Note about those little uh, engines. Apparently they're not as powerful as I thought they were. I probably screwed up my calculations. If I had to be perfectly honest about exactly how this came out, I, I'm pretty sure I messed up my calculations about the viability of this ship. Disappointing, but that does happen, right? I'll just get everything of value out of that. Transfer out all the life support. Auto propellant out all the electric charge from that. go. Mono propellant. We'll get a little extra. Still kind of baffles me that I missed it by quite that much. There we go. Well, disappointing, but did I read that right? I, I actually... I don't know. I might have had some... There we are. Last one. There should be one more, shouldn't there? Or have I done all four already? I guess I've done all four. Okay. Well then, it's time to turn this uh, bloody mess around and head for Kerbin. Because it sure ain't going to be getting to the... sure ain't going to be landing. Let's see, can we get closer? And let's see. As long as my departure doesn't go through the moon, we should be fine. Periaps of two million. I guess I could just change when I'm leaving. There we are, that's 400,000. Yeah, I guess that does work a little better. Not a lot to get us into a suborbital trajectory, which our ship should be able to handle just fine. Yeah, 50 kilometers should do it, eh? 26 minutes till the burn. We are going to leave this extra chunk of ship behind. I am disappointed, guys. That was uh, going so swimmingly well. And then it just kind of came apart at the seams right there at the end. Hmm, let's turn this probe core off too. Oh, it is disabled, okay. All right, we're gonna do a quick rotation. And we're gonna dump this thing off towards the surface of the planet. And then we're gonna fly it from here. All right, let's get rid of it right there. Actually, that's right in the way of where we are actually got a face for our burn here. So let's uh, ditch it into a lower orbit, and we'll back away from it a bit. Here we go. Let's hope, beyond hope, that this is going to not get us into too much trouble. Good. Drifting away nice and fast. That's excellent. Gave it enough of a s impulse to get away from us. Three, two, one. All right, it's only a 58 second one, so we can wait a little longer. Go 
just a little late, just to make sure we don't hit the planet. And there it goes. Missed it entirely. Now our calculations say it's still it's going to be a close pass, but not a day deadly dangerously close pass. Yeah, there's no sense in staying here with the uh, dead dead ship walking here in orbit. I'm just, you can't see it, but I'm just sitting here shaking my head. Um, I mean, the only saving grace really, I guess, is that the uh, actual moon part of the mission was not as lucrative as on the science as some of the other things. Some, So I think... Whoops. Four, three, two, one. Just a little more. There we are. Kill that. Kill that. Our periapsis is still positive, which means we're just going to look like we're going down to a crash landing. But we are just going to skim over the surface of the moon that we can't quite successfully land on, thanks to my uh, slight miscalculation. Okay, no, my, my gross miscalculation of the uh, mass necessary to land a ship on the moon. Don't even ask how I missed that. But yeah, we're just going to abort. We got everything we got except for the landed on the moon um, science, which I think is adequate. It's not ideal. I mean, you know, as far as outcomes for this mission goes, this was just about the worst one possible. But I accept my mistakes, and we will head back to Kerbin and attempt to correct it for the next mission, which will not be a manned mission. It will be a mission to uh, Moho, I think. I think that's the, play, the way to go with this at this stage. Alright, we'll get ready to do a close to orbit around Kerbin burn with this thing, because we've got enough fuel left to get a little bit of a, a punch. So what we need is a, in a few minutes, burn that will pull some... math off of our periaps, or our apoaps. Periaps, much lower. There we go. Okay. Let's get ready to do it. 47 second burn which will make a big difference in our return trajectory. We got enough monopropellant and stuff probably to pull this off quite nicely. Yeah, you know, as I was landing that ship, just, just as we started, as I started doing the landing process, I got concerned because it was a lot weaker feeling than I had hoped it would be. And that says not good things about the future of that lander. All right, we are now within the Kerbin, the close to Kerbin area. All right, SAS and RCS, everything in use. Seems to think this is doable with the RCS going like that. Yeah, I need to make sure I charge up the uh, pulling module before we get into our landing trajectory. Makes the apoapsis much more manageable. All right, we can do. All right, there's no point in that. That's just a waste, of, a waste of time and energy. Transfer in the electric charge there, and that bad this cupola module will be ready for re-entry. All right, going in. Go. Just a little further until the uh, 
atmospheric heating starts to show. We've come in faster in the past. But I know this solar array is actually extremely dangerous, so we will turn on electric charge, turn on the monopropellant, and we will decouple. And we will go back away. If we go just a little slower relative to this thing. Yep, there it goes. Burning up now. It's a shame I can't tell how much temperature it's got on it, but that's okay. It'll do its job, and it'll burn. More importantly, it'll burn. Or it'll go through the atmosphere and uh, come shooting out the other side, and we'll watch in horror as this Kerbal doesn't make it to the ground because I'm going too fast. Again, like usual. And then I will wince. I think we're going to make it, though. I mean, oh crap, we've... Oh no, we've hit our... No, 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 crap. We've hit our periopsis. Why, you stupid game, why? I apparently didn't go low enough, again. Well, hopefully it brings that million kilometers down off of this thing fast enough that we don't just die. All right, RCS off, SAS off. Gotta save that. Okay, well, let's hope this thing is efficient. Oh, crap. You've really got to be kidding me. There, there's no way we're going to die. Oh, my God, guys. Yep. Nope. That's the wrong quick save. All right, guys. Well, you've seen what I have to accomplish here. We're going to accomplish it. Ugh. That, it was definitely, this, this maneuver mission has definitely gone, I would say this has gone wrong in just about every way possible, to be honest. This whole mission, in, in a lot of ways, it's just gone sideways on every front. There we are. That's the one we want. Come on. All right, and we will leave and put our Turn periaps will go down to 25 because it's the moon. We can get, we can manage that coming back to the moon. All right, now what was I going to do? I was going to transfer all the goodies into this ship. Okay, we're just going to clean this out. Oh man, I hate having to do things twice, but here we are. such as it is. And I think I'll get rid of this right away. There's no sense in keeping it for anything. Okay, and let's transfer some electricity. And the life support. Boom. And forget the monopropellant. We're not going to worry about it. He says as he starts worrying about it. I think I should have run the numbers on that additional tank. I think I didn't quite account for the actual added mass quite properly. 
I don't know. I don't know. That just doesn't... Something that just didn't add up right for this mission. And that's just, you know... Nothing actually added up right, did it? Probe core is disabled. All valuable materials have been transferred out of the uh, now defunct spaceship. All right. Right, of course, we're going out that way, aren't we? We just have to go the rest of the way around around the planet first. Okay, getting ready. Time warp. Well, it's a little disappointing, but on, at the end of the day, it's more important to get Jeb Kerman home alive, and I can't afford to make a screw up of this magnitude on the upcoming uh, moon mission. Oh, crap. Tell me, don't tell me I... No, we're okay. Just a little bit late on the burn, that's all. Which is probably just fine. Make sure that doesn't drop below zero, that's all. Just been watching that periaps number there. There it goes. Ready to cut the engines. Periaps is still good. 200, 100, 5, 4, 3, 25. Okay, there we go. Killed burn. Time warp is out of here. Very close pass over the moon. And away. sun, because that's what we do. Throw a nice little marker right there. Alright, good enough. Let's see how that plays out. Escape in three minutes. Something I should have done on the last one too. Alright, good. Close enough. Alright, bringing it around. It's a 30 second burn this time. It should mean it won't matter exactly when this gets done. Charge the cupola module. Something I should have done a while ago, anyways. Late, but not too late. Charged, life support's maxed. As well as we can. Good. I think we're good for uh, the re entry once again. Just gonna bring that down as far as we can here. Wow, that was just about perfect. Only 3 million. Yeah, hardly worth the trouble. Hardly worth it. Uh, 
honestly, this is probably far more worth it here. Yeah, a little more bang. Might as well bleed off as much of that as possible before we, uh, fail, um, before we, uh, finish this up. Okay. Decoupling time is coming pretty quick here. So we're coming in hot and fast. All right, time to go. Capola module online. Decouple. Okay. Scary stuff. This is designed for interplanetary return, so There, I think it's all dead now. Shoot deployment unsafe, do you think? You think it might be just a little unsafe to deploy these parachutes right at this instant in time? What a fascinating idea that is. Just let the atmosphere do its job now. This thing is designed to go through the atmosphere. Locked on trajectory. So all should be well with the world. As we come screaming over the... Uh... I sure hope I remember to transmit all the science. Well, if I didn't, that's just too darn bad, isn't it? Gods. At least we're going to miss the mountains. Not by much, but we are going to miss them, I think. I sincerely hope that we are going to miss them. Alright, we should be okay to deploy those parachutes pretty quick here. And doubly so because of how... Uh, because of how close to, uh, how high in the mountains we're going to be landing. That makes this really dangerous. Because our, uh, altitude can change very rapidly depending on where we actually wind up impacting. I just hope it's marginally better than the last time I landed in the mountains, which I do believe ended in quite a bit of tragedy. <sighs> Well, sorry, Jeb, you were going to go to the moon, but this turned into an Apollo 13, apparently. Granted, without the duct tape uh, uh, carbon scrubber, carbon dioxide scrubbers, but... Um, still not an ideal mission. Back to the old drawing board, I guess. And back to the old reliable design strategies and uh, engines. Which is too bad. I, I had high hopes for that design, but apparently it wasn't quite going to do the job. Okay, looks like we're coming down into a relatively flat spot in the hills, which is good. Good news. Let's time warp this thing the rest of the way to the ground, and we'll go look at our science, and I will go pull this thing apart in the uh, shop and have a look at it and see where I made my mistake on the uh, on the uh, calculations. So, I don't have the calculations in front of me, so we'll just get the vital statistics on the ship as it is designed at this point. So, 2800 science, so... Oh, I might have forgotten to transmit one of those sciences back. No, I didn't. No, I had to transmit both of them back. A little cash back. Jeb's back, which is good. Okay, let's have a look at our science first and check to make sure we got the critical stuff out of the archives. Moon, biometric readings, 
space high, space near. Those are the two that I got. Okay. Unmanned mission to um, uh, Moho. Anything better than the solar panels for that? Please let me know. But I'm thinking the solar panels are going to be these. These solar panels are going to be the way to go because it'll make it much, much easier to design this uh, mission. Because I won't have to be constantly spinning around trying to point them at the sun, which will be nice. Yeah. Beyond that, I think that's still going to be our best bet. And we're going to launch a modified. The, the one we'll launch will be what's a modified version of the EVE probe. I'll take take out the atmospheric lander and just take a uh, non-atmospheric uh, landing rig. Okay. So let's get the vital statistics on this and figure out why it failed, because that's actually really important. If I ever decide to try not only the Moonshot 4, but... Uh, or Moonshot 5, but more likely it's going to be a... Something after I got the Science Junior built. All right, so this is 70, 724.8 tons, and of that, the lander comprises 711.9, which means it's only a measly. Brain is not working, so doing the math on the calculator to make sure I don't screw it up. So it weighs 12.9 tons. All right, there's number. There's the first number, 12.9 tons. We have eight engines of this type. The engines are these guys right here, which have a thrust of 20, um, engine ISP of 300 in the vacuum, and a uh, liquid fuel consumption of 0 0.73 per second maximum. They have vectoring one degree, but we dis disabled that for safety. We had 360 plus 180, so 460, 540. Yeah, 540 tons of liquid fuel on the sh on the shuttle, and everything else. That's it. Yeah, I mean, 12 ton ship, 640, 540 tons of fuel with eight engines that operate at a thrust of 20 and an ISP of 300. Should that have worked? Did I give up too easily? Um, I don't know. Let me know, because that was certainly way closer than I would have liked it to be, and I will redesign this slander for the future. But in the next episode, we are going to design our MOHO mission, which will require a few modifications to old ships and quite likely, based on your feedback, including uh, the new solar panels. So let me know, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.